Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. The President of the Supreme Council of Health and Chairman of the National Medical Task Force to Combat Coronavirus, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, today held a virtual meeting with the Board of Directors of the Jafari Endowment Council, led by Yusuf bin Saleh Al Saleh. The meeting held following the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs announcements that prayers at mosques, collective worship, and religious assemblies will remain suspended until the rate of the coronavirus infections decreases to the levels set by the competent authorities. Discussed the meeting, the precautionary measures to be implemented during the Ashura commemoration season to ensure public health and safety. The meeting also is part of the efforts of the National Medical Task Force to combat coronavirus to ensure continued commitment to precautionary measures, including the banning of public gatherings, which are the main cause of the spread of the pandemic. The SCH chief said that based on the current epidemiological situation, locally, regionally and internationally, and with the citizens' readiness to mark Ashura, a set of preventative measures have been taken at this stage in order to preserve the health and safety of the mourners and the community. In this regard, he said that the Ashura commemoration should be restricted to remote broadcasting and that only the morning staff should be present at the Ma'tam community centers. He stressed that the morning staff involved in broadcasting and direct transmission should adhere to all precautionary measures, especially face masks and social distancing, calling on community centers officials to record and confirm the staff names and ensure their safety through their precautionary examination in coordination with the Ministry of Health. The National Medical Task Force said that live broadcasting should not exceed 20 minutes in order to protect the safety of those present at the community centers. The National Medical Task Force noted that it bets on the awareness and commitment of the authentic Bahraini people and their keenness to give priority to the lives, health and safety of everyone. The Ministry of Health stated that there is a great participation in the third clinical trials of the COVID-19 vaccine, which are listed under the umbrella of the World Health Organization. The Ministry confirmed that the great turnout witnessed by the registration through the national platform within 48 hours of the opening reached 2,220 volunteers, representing more than a third of the total targeted number of volunteers to participate in the experiments, which amounts to 6,000 volunteers. The ministry added that registration is open for those wishing to volunteer, those over the age of 18 through the national volunteering platform, where the medical team will follow the health evaluation process for volunteers before joining clinical trials according to the approved protocols. The Ministry of Health expressed its thanks and appreciation to all the citizens and residents who initiated the registration, stressing that this great turnout reflects the extent of concern, interest and support provided by them to support the national efforts and endeavors made to eliminate the coronavirus. The Kingdom of Bahrain congratulates the United Arab Emirates and its leadership for declaring, along with the United States and Israel, an agreement that has been reached which will stop the annexation of Palestinian lands and will take steps towards achieving peace in the Middle East. Bahrain praises the diplomatic efforts that the UAE has made in this regard and affirmed that this historic moment will contribute to the stability and peace of the region. Bahrain also praises the efforts of the United States to achieve this historic agreement along with its ongoing efforts to enhance the security, stability and peace across the world. Bahrain looks forward to further efforts to arrive at a just, comprehensive and lasting solution to the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases has reached 3,379 with 344 recoveries and 462 registered new cases. The Ministry announced the death of a 56-year-old expatriate man from COVID-19 and expressed its condolences to the family of the deceased. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and affirm the importance of following instructions such as washing one's hand on a regular basis, along with avoiding shaking hands and close contact and covering the nose and mouth when sneezing. 